Hi, this is Thomas from MarsMoonSpace.com Today we are having a quick look of a Gigapan that my good friend Neville Thompson, the Gigapan master of all Gigapans, just uploaded. <laughs> this is a great and awesome picture and so clear. Take a look at this rock. This is just a rock, but damn! Think of all those images NASA have come out with. This is a clear and clean picture of a rock. We're actually not really used to that, <laughs> I can say so. But what's that laying on the top of it? I don't know how close I can get. I think that's the closest. You see that in the middle of the screen there is something laying on top of that. <laughs> My first thought after two rum and cokes was hey, it's a laser gun. <laughs> But hey, as usual, you decide what you see, I know what I see. <laughs> it's no laser gun, but <laughs> it was just what it reminded me of. Take a look at this one. Just beside this great rock, that looks like a turtle shell. I think the English word is turtle shell. So, I'm from Denmark, so I have my difficulties uh, sometimes with finding the right words. <laughs> <laughs> you probably already know that. But let's go for a little look around on this Gigapan. This is an awesome one. This is a great one. It's, it's a long time since we last had such a clear one. Take a look at this background here and see those cottages and edges that are on in the rock and in the middle of the screen. Looks like it's some kind of artificial carved uh, angles. And take a look at this one. In the middle, a white object. It kind of reminds me a little bit about the skull you see in some of the bikers uh, brand, you know. This is an awesome one. I don't know what it is, something round in the middle of it. And take a look at the object just besides it. And all the stuff that is here all around. Take a look at the angles, uh, the shapes. In the middle right here, see something with a, a square frame in the middle, actually looking like some kind of window from an, a part of a building. Uh, Look at just above it, also rectangular uh, shaped with uh, lines and, and edges and <laughs> I can't even describe it. Take a look at that one in the middle. That reminds me of an old sci-fi movie with an alien craft that's crashed into the ground and only a little part of it is above ground still and this one has probably been laid there for what? Centuries. Well, we don't know. I don't know. You believe what you believe. I believe what I believe. <laughs> to me, that looks like some crest, craft of a kind. This is an awesome one. I have no words for it. I have been on these places before in some of my other videos, but this Gigapan is a really wide one. It covers two or three of those gigapans I've been on before in one gigapan. This is awesome. Thank you Neville, my friend, my good friend. Let's take a little look around here. Does that look like some sort of a bone from an arm? <laughs> well, what is that in the middle here? I have no idea. If you have any thoughts on this, please comment on the YouTube comment box here on Facebook and uh, tell me how far in the timeline you are t talking about an anom anomaly take a look at that one also, that also looks like some sort of bone now we are coming up to an awesome area big giant it looks like it's flat on top sorry I'm coming back here, it looks like it's flat on the top I think that's artificial created somehow. I don't know. Look at all the stuff in the foreground. There are so much in it. 
in the middle now, a round hole in something. <laughs> I have no wish for it. This is the area and the hills, uh, 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 not hills, the rock side that I described as the mall before. <laughs> Look at that. It's a great architecture, <laughs> if I can call it that. And what do we have here? Is that the largest swings, head of a swings we have seen so far? Almost like you can see the eyes and the nose and the mouth. Is that a swings? Like the one? In Egypt, covered in sand and debris, leave a comment on it. Take a look at all the stuff around here. It's amazing. I am starting to suffer from can't stop ikitis. Look at this one. A square entrance, a doorway, and if you look in the sand, in the middle here, it looks like Actually, it's part of the door is blasted out and laying in front of the square hole. Is that someone standing in the doorway? Oh, is it a trick of light? And if you look just to the right of that rock with the doorway, and you see a face in the rock. And two white eyes. This is a great one. I, I just can't stop, I have to go on. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can choose to stop now, <laughs> you can choose to follow me on this journey here. This, this is the robotic head, you can find that video on that one also, and somewhere on my YouTube channel. Been on that one before. This is a great, great picture. This is, there is so much in it. Just look at it. It looks like there are some powerful disastrous bomb that exploded here and everything was crumbled to pieces. And when I look at that object in the middle, the grey object, I kind of start thinking of what the army at home are doing with their crash, with their shit, with their playing. They are using camouflage. They are using color that matches the surroundings to make it less visible. Could that be the same here? Could that be something that is not rock but covered up to look like a rock? And the one in the middle here seems to have some odd features and a little skull just in the middle and a little down. This is great stuff. If you also suffer from can't stop Achilles, you can keep on watching here and see all these anomalies. This is great. This is awesome. Thank you, Neville. I can't say thank you enough. This one I have been on before in one of my other videos to the right you see what we call as the ship frame. And the two doorways to the left of the middle. Sub debris. And take a look at this one. If you look, there is a black anomaly and a grey anomaly just right beside it. And look at the holes that are in the middle of it. Something is coming up from that hole. Is that a chimney? Or is it like on a submarine or a periscope? Or <laughs> what is it? I am so curious. If I ever could afford to join the Mars 1 expedition, I would actually think about doing it. I may not, I may probably end up not doing it because I have kids, but... <laughs> I, God damn it, I wanna know what's up there. And this image is one of the best images I've seen in a long time. It really takes us visual 
Up to Mars. Here we have that anomaly again. And what looks like some sort of a wing on top of a, a rock laying just beside the white anomaly I talked about before. Look at the shapes. They are right angles, 90 degree angles all over. This rock looks like it's hollow and part of the wall is blasted away and you can actually look inside it. Is that a rock? You think it could be something else than a rock? Please comment on it on YouTube or Facebook. It looks like that. That looks like a big size skull with teeth and you can see the eyes but you can see the mouth. And the head is just tilted a few degrees. Great one is awesome. Well, we are almost at the end, but we are not finished yet. All of there are anomalies. I will never be able to finish a picture like this. But we have to go. direction of the end is going to be this one here also. I don't know how to say it besides it's a beautiful picture. Look at the rocks inside it. It didn't looks like it once was a massive rock but put a rock put together to create a larger object. Now, take a look at this one. This is a great one. I pointed that one out before. A triangular shaped pole of a kind coming out from the rock with something attached at the end of it. I can't see what it is. And what looked to be some kind of inscription in the rock just beside it to the left. And look at this one above it. This has some symmetric shape. The, my first thought was a little drone sitting on top of a rock. Some survey and this one is a great one too. That looks like a statue hit with an old Greek or Egyptian Egyptian head on. It actually looks like uh, it's uh, a face on two sides of it. Go check it out on the kickerpan.com and the link is in the video description. You can check more out, awesome stuff out on Mars Moon Space Fusion Club on Facebook. Until we see you again, take care. Nine, Bye. Two.